Good evening and welcome to Monkeys with Fire. How is everybody tonight? I hope you're all well. Hope you're having a good middle of the week. Yes, we are doing a games night on a Wednesday. Uh, just to break the week up, I guess, a little bit. So, what game are we going to play this evening? We are playing a game of Judge Dread Helter Skelter from Osprey Games, designed by Martin Wallace. So let me give you a little bit of the background. Here we go. The fabric of reality has shattered. Mega City One is overrun with beings from the past and the present and altogether alien, from spacefaring mutants to raging barbarians. Buildings are phasing in and out of existence, and monstrous creatures terrorize the streets. Everywhere, death and destruction rule supreme. It's Helter Skelter. Take control of the Justice Department's finest judges, the technologically advanced Strontium Dogs, the scrappy Irregulars under Nikolai Dante, all the mighty slain and his family as they scramble to find the fragments of their own realities and crush anyone in their way. What an intro! <laughs> this is going to be fun! I've been looking forward to playing this for a while. Good evening, Sarah! Welcome! <laughs> Crushed them all. Okay, so joining me tonight is Augie. Augie, are you in the channel ready to play? Let's say hello to some of the people in the chat. Hello, Roger. Hello, Amberdon. Hello, Baron. Hello, Lostor. Welcome. Orgy, you're having mic issues. Oh, no. Looks like we've got a little bit of a crowd tonight, so that's good. This is a relatively easy game to to play through once you get the swing of it that's one of the great things i enjoy about games from martin wallace is that they are all relatively easy to learn and once you play it a couple of times or certainly a couple of rounds you get the the general gist of what's happening and uh, away you go good evening christoph welcome to you thank you for joining us And good news there, Sarah, but uh, you might have somewhere to live. <laughs> it's no fun not having anywhere to live, is it? You So, Lost Door, you like a slain uh, on the cover. So, how many of you guys are familiar with the characters from 2000 AD? I mean, you know, 2000 AD for me, of course, was a very British comic, but of course it is international. I'm sure that as many people across the globe are very aware of, certainly Judge Dredd. Amber and you know them all. Can somebody tell me then a little bit of the history of Nikolai Dante? Because I, I am very familiar with Judge Dredd and with Strontium Dog and with Slain, but Nikolai Dante, I don't remember that character. Is there somebody in the know? For me, when I was a boy, uh, it was Rogue Trooper, the uh, genetic infantryman, and that was the uh, the character that I enjoyed to read about the most. 
So I was kind of surprised that he wasn't included in this game. I would have thought that he uh, was a well-known character. That's why I'm intrigued about uh, Nikolai. Uh, I possibly do have you muted, so if you're ready, Augie, let's bring you on in. Good evening, Augie. And here I was. Doing Hello. All the things thinking my mic wasn't working. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, no, it's, you're always muted to start off with. Well, hey. No, but you said I'm playing with Augie, so I was like, okay. And then I thought I should speak. And then you... You didn't respond, so I, I started oh, trying I everything Oh, I see. Out. I see. Sorry. My bad. My bad. Well, you're okay. here, so it's all good. <laughs> I made it. Hooray! Okay, let, let's go to the table and, and get things started, hey? Let's just quickly say hello to Mikey. Good evening. All right. So. Hi, chat. There we go. All set up. Ooh, Amberdon wants to play along. I'm afraid, Amberdon, we only have room for two players on this, so unfortunately not tonight. Amberdon, are you more excited than I am? Try, try me, try me, try me. Okay, try, so Sarah. let's uh, take this out of the way. As you put, you guys pointed out, there is lovely artwork on the uh, front cover here. Uh, done by one of the main 2000 AD artists. I hope I get his name right. It's Is it Brian Boland? Am I getting that right? Uh, let me just look here. Brian Boland, yes, there you go. So, awesome. Right. So we've got the board set out. There are two sides to this board. This is the Hall of Justice, um, which of course is within Mega City One. This is where all of the judges uh, preside. And on the flip side of this board, it is two Mega City blocks, high, high up, linked together by bridges. So it's a little bit of a block war, uh, again, Fans of the comics will know what I refer to there. Um, so again, it gives you two different environments for you to basically fight upon. The idea of the game is essentially to score five points. And the way to score those points is to either kill members of the opposing teams, and, you know, space allowing, you can have up to four players within the game. Uh, of course, tonight we are just working with two. Uh, so it's one point per pl uh, character that is killed, or one point per reality crystal that you collect. Because, as the sort of the uh, introduction uh, explained, the 2000 AD reality, the multi 2000 AD multiverse has shattered, and we're getting characters from different comic books, from different universes, colliding together in Mega City 1. This is very appropriate giving a, given a Marvel film that is coming out next weekend, where it's a similar idea yet this game has been out for a while. So we're going to have a fight of the Mega City Judges under Judge Dredd up against the Strontium Dogs with Johnny Alpha. Uh, Augie is going to play the Judges and I am going to be the Strontium Dogs. All right, so that's the setup. So... The game, as I say, is pretty simple. I'm just going to show you here, because here's the instruction book. Uh, if you are familiar with another of Martin Wallace's games, Wildlands, essentially, this is Wildlands with a 2000 AD retheme. So if you've already played Wildlands, you will already know how to play this game. And very, very simple... We got a little bit of uh, information on the components here. This takes us through 
the various aspects on the map. So let's let's well, cover these that. these minis that you could paint up? And... They are. Let, I, I will come back to the minis in, in a second, but let me explain the game map, because I want to show you how easy these rules are. Okay. So hopefully you can see everything nice and clear, uh, Augie and the chat. You can see the different sections on the board here. So each section is a space, and the space is indicated by a number. And there are 40 different spaces on each map. Uh, if a space is adjacent to another space, and there is no obstacle, then you can travel from one space to another as part of a movement action. It's that simple, okay? Um, let me just make sure. So the border is the white line surrounding the edge, so we can see the white line here. So that is one entire space. That is space seven. So walls. Walls are denoted by the heavy yellowy orange line. And to make things easy, on this particular map, the wall is the entirety of the outside. And then it is on this large statue here. So I'm just going to trace round it with my finger. That is the wall. Okay. Basically, you cannot cross over a wall. Saying that, this entire, let's call it, a, a, is it a rotunda? Let's we can call it that. There is a white line here. So you can go from space 36 to 12 to 11 to 29 and to 35 and back to 36, that's no problem. What this wall does do is it causes a block of line of sight. And we'll come to that in a moment. There are spaces that have numbers in black circles with red markings around them. And they represent areas, spaces with cover, places for your characters to basically duck down and avoid being shot at. Uh, so if you are in an area where you are within cover, potentially line of sight is going to be disrupted, so somebody might not be able to shoot you. But also, you're able then to use the ability of cover on one of your cards. And we'll come to cards in a bit, because cards are the main way this game plays. Everything is done via cards. Uh, so it'll become clear when I explain that little element. We then have high ground. And high ground is denoted by areas where there is a double white line and with a magenta triangle pointing upwards. And to get to the high ground, you must climb up. But being on high ground gives you unblocked line of sight. So if you are in the high ground, then of course, you know, uh, you have a better chance of hitting somebody. Don't try it, Anakin. I have the high ground. Yeah, I know. R wrong, wrong, wrong universe, but had to do it. You take the high road and I take the low road. <laughs> um, on this map, we don't have to worry about falls. Uh, there is nowhere for us to fall, which is great. So, line of sight. Let me just go over this. So, there are various actions to take uh, ballistic fire, which is sniping, shotgun, or Psy actions. Anybody who is familiar with Judge Anderson will know where the Psy ability comes on it. So to be able to do any of those three actions, you need to have line of sight. And I'll just read it out now so it's nice and clear. The space occupied by your character is the source, and the space occupied by the character you're attacking is the target. Trace a line between the destinations of the source and the target. You'll have a line of sight unless the traced line passes through something that blocks it. And that is it. Alright, so let's just uh, give an example here. If Johnny Alpha was in Space 23 and Judge Dredd was in Space 8, Judge Dredd has an unobscured line of sight Judge Dredd can fire 
at Johnny Alpha. But let's say, for example, Johnny Alpha was in section 35. We do have this wall, the statue, because of taking a line of sight from 8, going through to 11, going to 35, this statue is in the way. And that being the case, he is hidden. He cannot be shot at. The one thing about this game is that line of sight, he can be at the furthest extremes of the board. So from 9 all the way to 31, that is uh, totally valid. So you don't have to worry too much about distance. Everything is close enough for you to be able to shoot at one another. Um, okay. One other thing. So let's put me up on the high ground. And Augie on the normal ground. There is no line of sight. If you're down at the floor shooting somebody high up, you cannot draw a line of sight to them. They are hidden. Whereas the high ground, of course, can hit the normal ground. Uh, I think that's about it, but we'll but we'll look at that when we uh, we work out some uh, some shooting, basically. That's pretty much it as far as explaining the environment. There's nothing much more to talk about on that, so we can jump to straight away setting up the game. And I've done most of it. Now, there's two ways of doing this, Augie. And it's totally up to you. So I've set up your characters. Uh, each character here, that you have a number of health cubes uh, appropriate to the actual character. Uh, some of your characters have some special abilities, which I'll talk about in a moment. And what happens is you have a randomly random pack here of 10 location cards. They have numbers on them that refer to the numbers on the board. And what's going to happen is you get to choose five of those cards and you would place them under your characters. Because what's going to happen is they are going to materialize during your turn in those different locations. All right. I've got exactly the same, and I will do the same setup. The five cards that are left, you would give to me, and I would then place your reality crystals in th those locations. Is that right? Let me just get just right. Hang on a second. Once all players have started, yeah. Place your fragments on the spaces designated on the map cards handed to you by the player on the left. Yes. So. I will give you my remaining cards, you will give me yours, and we'll place our crystals there, so we don't know where our crystals are being placed. Now, it's up to you. I, of course, am going to get to see your cards. So do you want to do this completely random, where we don't know who's going where, and what crystals are going where, and we all, we both just jump on in, not knowing what's happening? Is that a fair sort of way to do it, or would you like to see, but it just means that I would get to see as well? You there, Augie? Augie? Hello? Oh, I think we've lost her. Hello, hello. Is this working? It is working. Hello, you're back. <laughs> Suddenly it was gone. Anyway, so I could listen to you. Uh, yeah, I, I was saying, let's go balls against the wall and do, la do random. Do random. All right, excellent. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Right, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put your cards. I'm going to give them a shuffle. And you know what? Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I'm going to swap your cards with my cards because we're making it completely. Look at monkey's shuffling random. skills, guys. Hey. Ah, uh, a right. profession. And Look we're going to put these cards with your Looks characters. Looks like a magician doing a, a card trick. 
You're totally. You're, you're so bad. Uh... Yes. This is a lot of bullshit. Come on, come on, do it. Do it. Kill me. I'm right here. Kill me. Come on, kill me. Do it now. Kill me. <laughs> you, you, that's a totally appropriate amber noon, but yeah, you have to wait until we've got a, a turn lined up for that. that that's a perfect, perfect uh, quote there. Right, so hang on, I so... Know, I don't know when, when the sound thing happened, so... Okay, so here goes. So we've got we've we've done that. We've given the cards to the bright. Place your fragments on the spaces designated on the map cards handed to you. Right. So these cards are going to determine where your fragments are. All right. So here we go. What? I'm gonna put him back there. I'm gonna put him back there. So you're gonna have a fragment on number six. Did you just shake the cards? Uh, thirty-eight, maybe. I might have done that. <laughs> 22? <laughs> no judging. Oh, goodness. No judging. Oh, look at that. 22 and 6. He's the, shaking the cards. 31. 31. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. 31. You know, the fun thing is... 29. In my native, in my native language, yeah. shuffling the cards and shaking the cards would be the same thing. Is it? So, Yeah. Um, it's the same verb, so you, you would have made an excellent Dutch joke. Okay, uh, here's mine, so 35, where's 35, but 35, can't see 35, oh there it is, 7, 4, 32, so you're green. And I'm, I'm blue. 32? Yeah, oh, look, we're all very close to one another. 30. Oh, look at this. <laughs> okay. Can you see all of your blue counters? Yes. Okay, so you can see all five. So remember, by collecting a blue counter, that's one point. You need five points to win. There are five on the board. All right. Now then. Gotta catch them all. You do. So first of all, we get seven cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is your starting hand. I'm going to draw myself seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At the end of the round, you get to draw up cards. You can take up to three cards, up to a maximum of seven. So let's just go through this quickly. It is, it is nice and easy. This is uh, on your turn. You can deploy a character. So straight from the start, deploy a character, reveal a map card, and place the character on that space. All right. So that would be the very first action. After that, you can then deploy another character or take an action. Uh, discard cards to pay for each action, and we'll, we'll explain that in a second. Uh, and then repeat this step any number of times. So in other words, you can keep on deploying characters and taking actions until you have no cards left, right? Which then at that point, you must declare the end of turn and then you would draw up cards and pass to the next player. And that is as simple as your turn is. Alright? So you essentially, you can keep on doing things until you have no cards left to do actions. But we need to explain what the various cards are and what you're able to do with them. So let's go through that. Da, 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 da. And I guess this is kind of the meat of the game because the cards are quite interestingly set out. Uh, so this is a typical card. So let me find one which gives me a good example of everything. Okay. Uh, okay. 
back. Well, actually, your, your deck, even though I have shuffled it numerous times, <laughs> so you have one, one, two, three, four. You have five cards which are set out like so. All right. Okay. So let me explain the sort of anatomy, right, of the cards. Essentially. All of these symbols refer to the different characters that you have. So if I go through and I will give you the names for each one of these. And you might want to, I don't know, if you've got a bit of paper, write them down just so you would recognise it. They're always going to be in that order. So at the top, it is Judge Giant with the shotgun. The Psy is Judge Anderson. The... Uh, symbol with what looks like a G is Chief Judge Hershey. The infamous face of Judge Dredd is, of course, Judge Dredd. And then the robotic face at the bottom is Mean Machine. All right. If any of these symbols are coloured in, that means it is a standard action. And so by playing that card, you can do a standard action. So what standard actions are they? To move costs you one card. You would literally just play that card, and that would allow you to move any one of those characters. All right. Uh, so to move a character is to an, uh, to an adjacent space that shares a border. If you're not already on the high ground, you cannot move to a space on high ground. You'll need to climb. So we'll, we'll talk about climbing next. So climbing, if you wanted to get yourself to high ground, it would cost you two cards. So you would just play two cards. And again, it would have to be the same character and both symbols need to be coloured in. So playing two cards would allow that character to climb. If you ended your turn on a space that had a fragment, and of course you want to collect fragments, then you need to use three cards with the character's symbol coloured in. All right. So you could put play this hand and away you go. Uh, but it does say three cards with the character symbol or three cards with a dead character symbol. What's a dead character symbol? Oh, if the character is dead, so for example, it, they still have to be coloured in, but if that character has actually died, right, you can still use their coloured symbols to basically trade in. So in effect, your hand here you could play all of these cards in one massive turn. You could move two spaces and then pick up a fragment. So there you go. Five cards, bang, done, all in one go. And that could be the end of your turn and you could achieve quite a bit. So those are the, the standard actions. Now let's explain a little bit about these cards, where you can see these are slightly different, these cards have characters greyed out. And what that means is you cannot use this card with that character. So for this example, this card only works with Judge Anderson and with Mean Machine. But you can see also there is an additional action that these characters can do. So they can do a standard one, because they are highlighted. But the additional symbol refers to something else. So let's take a look. The fist, the clenched fist, is a melee action. So if Judge Anderson is in the same space as an enemy, uh, play this card. Choose an enemy character on the same space as the defender. The defender must make a block defense or take one damage. Dead simple. And basically, what I would have to do is I would have to have my character that you were attacking with the same symbol, and I would have to play that card for it to be a block. And then I wouldn't take the damage. And that's, that's kind of combat. That's, that's basically it. 
you just have to have the appropriate card at the appropriate time. So sometimes you'll be lucky and sometimes you won't. So it means it's going to be quite a fast game. Mean Machine down here, again, he can take a standard because he's coloured in, but the symbol there is deflect. So when this character is the target of a snipe, a shotgun or an explode action, make this defence out of turn to avoid all of the damage from that action. So this just defends you from that attack. Let's uh, take a look at this one. This one has the go symbol. What does that mean? Rally. Uh, choose a character in your team on the same or an adjacent space to the ally. The character taking the action and the ally may make, take a move or climb action. You may choose to just move the ally. For each character taking the climb action, you must discard an additional card. The card must have the character's symbol or the rally symbol linking to that character. So you can get Judge Anderson to rally another character. This one, which is the fist with lots look like a knuckle duster, is a smash. So it's basically, it's like a melee action, except it does two damage. Right? The difference being here is... Yeah, no, actually, no, the defender must still make a block, or they take the two damage. Now, the only thing that I haven't explained is that some of these cards, they have a symbol down at the bottom as well, and that is a wild action. And this action symbol is wild, as it is not to, attached to a character symbol. And any character may use it to take either, in this instance, a defense or cover. So you know when I talked about the cover sections, the areas that have the black and red, if you are have a character that's being shot at in cover, you could play this card even if the character is not coloured and they would instantly take advantage of the cover. That pretty much explains the cards. There are other little abilities that we can explain as we go through. But one thing that's really important, and your, your hand automatically puts you in a good position here, because you've got five cards, all with this exclamation point. And this is Interrupt. And basically, costs you one card with the Interrupt symbol. This action can only be taken out of turn. So in other words, you would play this card when it's my turn. And you can play it. Uh, when I've completed an, an action, including any defenders taking damage, or when I declare the end of my turn. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to do a full turn for as many cards as you've, as you've got. Right? Then you would get, get to the end of your turn, and then potentially you would start your turn again. So it's a way of being able to force yourself into the action. It does sound pretty complicated, so it, I guess I'll learn how to play it while playing it. Yes, yes. It is definitely a game where once you understand how the cards work, right, it'll be second nature. It's just going through those initial steps. But I'll help you along. Like I say, it's a, it's a learning game for us, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And then All next right. time, I'll, I'll beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so let's just take a look here, because again, we don't know who's going to appear and where. I've got my seven cards, you've got yours. So just looking here, Judge Anderson, Judge Hershey, and Judge Dredd have a special ability. And I think I will have given you this. This is high explosives. So whenever a character with a high X takes a snipe action, after selecting a defender, they may choose to make all other characters on the same space defenders too. This must include any friendly characters. All defenders decide individually whether to take a deflect, a cover, or a side defense, or take one damage. So basically, what you're able to do is you're using your high explosives within your lawgiver pistol, and if it means there are num num numerous characters in one space, all of them can potentially take damage. But that does mean any friendly units as well. 
Oh, okay. All right. So that's an option. So you would just have to declare it that that is what you are doing. All right. Is that a one-time action, or nope. is that? Nope. It, it, it's it's for it's forever. It's whenever you want to use it. So that's your special ability. I actually only have one character with a special ability, and that's vampirism. But we'll come to that <laughs> in due course. Right just to then. Make something clear from the start. Sometimes your sound disappears for me, and so I sometimes miss a sentence or two. Okay. So if I ask you to repeat something, not a it's problem. It's not because I'm not listening. I, I've just moved to somewhere else, hoping the connection would be better. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, if you if you don't hear anything, just ask me to repeat it, and there I'll do go. so. There you go. again. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think maybe the best thing here is to let you start. And because well, shall we? We, 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 you would obviously get to see. Let's turn your cards over to see what numbers each of your characters would start at. I'm not really looking, but you're going to make a decision then as to where they are going to appear on the board. Because now that you can see the numbers, you can potentially see where they would materialise. Remember, you have five cards that will allow you to do standard actions. You require three cards to pick up a fragment. So you, you never know, you might materialize... Well, actually, you won't materialize on a fragment, but you might materialize next to one. Okay, let's see. Um... It's like playing the lottery, really. It, 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 in, its, in its initial start, yeah, absolutely. Uh, number 37 appears pretty close to something that I like. 37 goes there. You have a fragment in 38. So that would be Judge Anderson, the Psy Judge. So you could, if you wanted to, let her appear right there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so Judge Anderson... Are these judges like in the American judge system? Or or how the, am I supposed to... Did, well, here we go. Does, okay, okay. Does anybody in chat want to explain to Augie what a 2000 AD megacity judge is? Come on, let's see if the fandom's there in the chat. So, uh. I have no clue what this is about. Um, like the characters in itself. You, okay, well, well, certainly then. You, you might, maybe what you'll have to do is watch. Um, there, there is two Judge Dread movies. Uh, one with Sylvester Stallone going back into, the, I think it's the nineties, maybe, and one more recently with the actor Carl Urban. Uh, both of them depict the character and the setting in different ways. And it, I guess it depends what style of Judge Dredd you like. That could be a, that could be an interesting uh, vote for the chat. Who was the better Judge Dredd? Sylvester Stallone or Carl Urban? Okay, so you have materialized in space 37. What do you want to do? You have you remember uh, you have your deck of cards. You have five standard cards, and I then have you no do. No one to shoot at. Well, exactly. Yeah. No one to shoot at because you're not on the board. So reveal the map card and place the character in that space. Done. Okay. So that, that would be one card down. That would be movement, and you can quite happily move from thirty-seven. To 38. So that's done. Easy. Yes. Well, there's no one to attack, so I... I, I... Exactly. So no that being the attack. case, you could just pick... You could, you could pick up that fragment, couldn't you? Well, I picked it up, didn't I? Oh, right. So that's free... That is free cards. So there you go. That's an additional free cards played. Oh, right. right. Yeah. 
Yes, because you need to play the cards. It's it's the action. So there you go. You've played four of your seven cards. You have three cards left. You've taken that fragment. So we'll put that there. These cards are now gone. I'm going to put your discard pile over there. Now, ultimately, uh, this is Judge Anderson. So remember, so in fact, actually, this puts you in a really good position because let's just bring those up. Can you see how Judge Anderson actually is a coloured symbol, the Psy symbol? So it means Judge Anderson can keep on doing actions. You could move Judge Anderson to closer to another fragment. Uh, where's the closest one? One, uh, two, three. You could get her to 31. One, two, okay. you could get to 29. And with one card left. Uh, let's get her to 30, so 35 and then 29, but I think I can only go to 35, right? Uh, no, it's 30, it's 31. No, 35. Where's 35? 35, 35. Where's 35? No. That 35 is a green, 30... is a green, is a green marker. Yeah, but I need to go to 29, so I need to go okay, yes. through so, 35. So you, go, so you go 35, and then you go to 29. Yes, it would take you two cards. Two? Yes. Okay. Yeah, one and then two to get into that section. See, guys, I'm already winning. So you, you, well, you are. But now you've got to decide which cards to use. Okay? So you've got the generic card, but it has the interrupt, which is potentially worthwhile. You then have the card that allows you to attack a character that's in your space and also allows you to use cover. And then you have the card that allows you to rally another character and do a deflect. Now, it's up to you. You need to use two cards to make that movement. Which two do you want to lose? Uh, does it matter? It does, because remember, what you're going to have left is going to be the card that you'll go into the next turn with. I, can, I, can I make a suggestion, then? Yeah, I would, yeah. I, I would use this one, because I don't think the rally ability at this moment in time is worth it so get rid of this automatically and then it's just a choice of whether you potentially would want to interrupt or you potentially wanted to punch me in the face potentially i always want to punch you in the face. <laughs> so which 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 do you think is going to be more to your advantage interrupting my turn or having it and remember the punch is also a block just in case I'm able to punch you. But I like interrupting. Exactly, um, yes. Okay, so you've got to make a choice. So let's say you're automatically, you're going to use this one. That's done. You've moved into 35. You've now got to decide, or you don't remember, you could keep hold of both of these and end your turn. You don't have to use uh, every card, because remember, you're going to pick up an additional three cards when we end your turn. Yeah, you'd like that. Well, it, hey, I mean, it put, might put you in a stronger position because then you've got five cards for the next turn. Okay, yeah, let's keep the cards. Yeah, okay, so let's keep those. You're going to draw up three new cards. One, two, three. Let's find out what these are. Okay. Oh, you're doing all right here. So it's another Judge Anderson card, but it's also a Judge Giant card. So, potentially, when we bring Judge Giant into play. Uh, again, it's another rally. Uh, it is a uh, cover card. So, if you're getting shot at. Again, a, another Judge Anderson standard movement. But it's a Judge Chief, Chief Judge Hershey who has a sniper action. So, this is where you're starting to able to take... Uh, long shots at people and it's a deflect ability and then finally 
Again, it is Judge Giant using the shotgun. It is a generic Chief Judge Hershey. And it is Mean Machine doing a smash action. But there's no wild card for this one. All right, smash does two points of damage. Now, again, it's up to you because you have... Oh, actually, no, because no, you've taken these cards, you've ended your turn. So that's it. Those are your new cards. Goes over to me now. Right. I'm going to... I'm actually going to reveal all my cards just so it's fair. Not that I'm sort of looking at... Uh... Okay. Uh... Got to sort of see who appears, where, and what. In the usual game, you wouldn't reveal all the cards, would you? No, no, you wouldn't. This would all be secret, right? So nobody would know where they would appear. So the, the positioning of the fragments and a positioning of... Well, the positioning of so your... So why, your... why, why did we turn them all over then? Oh, so, 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 so I'm we, supposed to know where they appear. Yes, yes. Okay. yeah. So, so that you could see, uh, and I'm just doing it just to make it a little bit fairer, I suppose. Uh, yes, in the in so in, the, in a true game, you would have purposely selected where you wanted your people to appear, given the the ten random cards that you would have received, but you would have had no idea until you received them where your crystals would have appeared. So, um, yeah. so and, and but then you'll be, be making the choice as to where and when you want your people to appear to try and pick up those crystals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to materialize Wolf is that Stern Hammer into section five. And let's just quickly take a look at my cards. And what I'll do is I will share these with you as well just to sort of give you an idea so you can see what's on my cards so this is midden face mcnulty has a cover card uh wolf has a melee and we also have a sniper action oh this is interesting so I could actually, I could take a shot at you with that. All right. He's going to take a shot at me, guys. McNulty has got, oh, that's like an explosion. What is that? And he's going to explode. An explode. So choose an adjacent space uh, with at least one enemy character. Each character on that space is a defender. Uh, you do not need line of sight, um, but you must share a board here. Each defender must make a deflect or a precog or take one damage. Okay. Well, that's useless right now. Yeah, well, indeed, but okay, that's fine. Uh, but then we also have a smash and a deflect. Uh -huh. uh, general actions for all of the team. More general actions for all of the team. More general actions for all of the team. And more and more. So there you go, you see. Uh, there's quite a few of those general action cards. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to use a general action to move. We'll go into there. I'm going to play down one, two, three to pick up my fragment. So I've done that. Now, and I'm doing it just purely so that we can sort of test things. I'm going to use this card to shoot at you. So let's see how that works. So this is Snipe. Uh, one card with the Snipe symbol. Choose an enemy character in line of sight. So can I see you? I am here and I'm looking across. And yes, I can see you, but you are potentially in cover. So we'll have to deal with that in a second. Uh, the defender must make a deflect or a precog defense or take one damage. If they are on a cover space, they can make a cover defense instead. Okay. 
So those are my cards. I've used those. I'm going to discard them because regardless of the outcome, the card has been used. And put that there. Let's take a look at your cards. So this is for Judge Anderson. Does she have a defense card? Uh, I think you do, actually. I thought so. Yes. No, so I could interrupt your turn. Well, well, hang on. Well, no, I think. Well, I think you're you're fine on this. Oh, the fist one. <laughs> I'll use the fist. You can't. You can't use the fist. Hang on a second. Hang on. Let me get this right. So you said it was a defense as well. It's uh, it only in Deflect. melee. It's in it's in melee combat when you're fighting when you're punching one another. So that the the wall is cover. When this character is the target of a snipe or shotgun action and is on the cover space, make this defense out of turn to avoid all damage. So there you go. You can use either this card with the wall or this card with the wall. And that means you will take no damage. Those are the two cards you can use. I don't think... Now, Deflect. Let me just see what Deflect does. You, could, you can use that as well. Gosh, you could use this card uh, as well for the Deflect. Mm. So, in fact, you're, you're pretty good. It's up to you. It, it depends what's more important to you. Nah, Do just you... Deflect. I don't want to die. Well, wh wh well, which you've got... Remember, so just to explain the differences... A deflect you can use anywhere. A cover card can only be used in areas on the board where there's cover. And you happen to be in an area with cover. Really? Yes. Yeah, you're in you're in. Let's just go back. You're in the black symbol with the red outline. Ah. Right? Because if if you had gone to 29 you would not be in cover. So you did really well actually staying there and not going the full distance. No, you did really well convincing me to stay there. Uh, and not going there. Hey, hey, it, it, it just it is what it is. So, so it's up to you. You've got two cover cards and one deflect. I think you should take advantage of the cover card. It, 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 it would uh, seem... Yeah. It seems a little bit silly not to use it whilst you're in the perfect position yeah. for it. Yeah. Let's let's use the 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 most to the right one. Yes, th this one here with the go symbol. Yeah, I agree. That's probably a good card to do. Okay. So there you go. So that does that. Oh, oh you see, you see, you are picking it up straight away. Uh, so I've taken a shot, but I've had no effect. It is up to me. I could bring in somebody else if I wanted to. And do I want to do that? No, let's just. Do I want let's to just do keep that? Going. No, I, well, hang on, hang on. I can still, I can still do this. You know what? I am going to do it. I'm going to bring in the Gronk. He's going to come on <laughs> in. Into number twenty-seven. Okay, and and uh, you know this is the thing. You could actually bring all of your people in if you wanted to. You don't have to do them one at a time. Uh, so in your ah. next turn, if you want to bring them all in, you can do that. But remember, um, you can only use as many cards as you've got in your hand. So I am going to do exactly what you did. I'm going to stop there. I am going to draw up three more cards. One, two, three. Done. I'll take a look at those properly in a bit. Okay, and it is now over to you. So the first thing for you to do is, if you want to, you can deploy one of your guys. Mm. And I'm going to put these. Are you sure you can deploy more than one? What happens on it... the on the yeah. turn card? It said one deploy yeah. a character. Yes, and then look it at two. It doesn't say go back to one. It's look at two. Two says, oh, wait one second, do an action. Or... Yeah, no, it says deploy a character or take an action. And it but says... you deployed a character. 
and took an action with that character and yeah. then deployed another character. Yes, because I was still but... I was still part of my fa my second phase. In the, so basically, no, but you have to choose. No, you no, have no. to choose to either deploy another character or take an action, guys. Right, can we hang, get a second opinion? Hang on, hang on. Let's let's show the card so we so you can see, right? So the first phase is deploy a character. Yes, okay. so you deployed your first character. So deploy the character. You then go into the second phase, and that phase can be deploy a character or take an action. You fell right? away. So the second phase can be deploy a character or take an action. Hello. Can you still hear me? Hello. 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 I can still. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hello. <laughs> no more sound. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Orgy, go come back, come back, go out uh. and come back in again. <laughs> oh, it's typical. We're having one of those nights. I'm just going to let me just get the adjust the camera so we can put this into focus. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Am I back? Yes, I think you are. Okay, good. So, uh, my second. opinion... My opinion is that step one, you can deploy a character. And yes. then step two, you can either deploy another character or take an action. Okay, but 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 just, just, just take a look at the card. It says, in step two, you can deploy a character or take an action. But it says, dis dis discard cards to pay for each action. Repeat this mm -hmm. step any number of times. Oh, so you... Oh, that's... Right? Weird. So basically, you can deploy... In your first phase, deploy a character. In your second phase, yeah, but... do actions for that character. And then go back and do... A, deploy a character and take actions for that character. And then deploy yeah, another character why... and take actions but for that why character. Would, why would they have a phase one? I mean... Then phase one is useless. Um, it's... Phase 2 also is Phase 1. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's obviously a reason, right? But okay. hey, but you can, you can, in effect, in the Phase 2, bring out all of your characters. Okay? But you can only do actions, right, as per the number of cards you have and as per the values on those cards. All right? So it's totally up to you now yeah. if you want to bring out all of your characters. No, no, let's keep some in on the back burner. Well, um, this this is true. That's good. Good call. All right, let's go back. So I'll deploy one. Let's see which one. Mm. Mm. Remember, you only have four cards to use in this round. You do have one that allows you to use all of your characters. The next card allows you to use Judge Giant, Judge Hershey, or Mean Machine. You then mm -hmm. have two cards that allow you to use Judge Anderson, who is on the board, or Judge Hershey, or Mean Machine. So in fact, okay. to, to, again, this is now going to help you maybe decide, the only character who, who has the weakest amount of actions is Judge Dredd. Oh, I want to deploy the one that's going to square number nine. Number nine, that is Chief that is... Judge Hershey. Yes. Okay, please. so that's number nine. That's going there. Yes. Okay. So in number nine. Uh, oh, it, 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 it's, it's in broken terrain. Yes, but she, so she is in cover. And then I would like to do a move... Okay. No, I can't. I can't move and pick up. Uh, I've lived all my cards. You... Yes, remember, you need to have three cards. Let me just double check to make sure I'm doing this right. It's three cards with the character symbol. Okay. So, you... The Judge Hershey... You have 
three cards with her symbol, but at, so she could pick up, she just couldn't move. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, so she's stuck. Uh, right? but, okay, but, let's but, do but, but Judge Anderson, remember, Judge Anderson can move and... Actually, no, even Judge Anderson can't move and pick up because that middle card is a dead card for her. Mm -hmm. She's only got three actions. But, but I could deploy number... No, because he's, he goes to number 20. So let's just see. 20 is... Where's 20? 20, 20, 20. 20 is going to be down here. Yeah, 20 is there. 13 is... Here. 14 is here. That would do everybody for you. They're all on this side. None of them are actually up here, aren't they? You've got to, you're going to have to get yourself yeah. over the board. Okay. Let's do some moving then. Mm. Can I move number nine to number eight? Number nine to number eight, you can, so that would just cost you one card. So which card would you like to use? Um, the third one. No. Yeah. Yeah. The third one. Okay. Yeah, that seems that's fair. Okay, so she's gone to eight. So you are in cover. Uh, remember, this, this first card, Judge Hershey is able to take a shot. Yeah, I would like to shoot you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, I think that's probably a good idea. So I have got to basically have a defense card. Oh, or sadly else... for Monkey, it's not with dice rolls. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yes. This, oh, this is why I like this game. No dice rolls is good. So I'm just uh, taking a look. The dice roll right now would be probably to your advantage. So I need to have a deflect card with his symbol on it. And yeah. thank have that? thankfully I Aww, do. No, okay, no. so I'm going to use that. But it just, it just remember, it means I have less cards coming into my round. So that's fine. Uh, Can I shoot you again? No, because you don't have oh. another card with the shotgun. Uh, sorry, the, the gun on it. All right, I guess that's my turn. That's your turn, okay. So that's you done. So you draw up three new cards. Let's see what they are. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. See, it's, start, it's starting to become clear now, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Ah, so Judge Dredd, who can do a shot. Mean Machine, who can take cover. And you have a, uh, a punch card for anybody. Mm-hmm. Judge Anderson can punch somebody, Judge Hersey can shoot somebody, and Judge Dredd can shoot somebody. And then Judge Giant can use the shotgun, Judge Dredd can uh, shoot at somebody, and anybody can deflect. The fact that you know the symbols by heart of the judges makes you sound very geeky monkey. But there's only, only five people you need to sort of recognise... Uh, and once yes. you've got that, away you go. I, yeah, I, I, I know, gonna... I know yours better than I know mine. Mine, I'm still learning. <laughs> okay. Right. I'll S just refer to them as numbers. Yes, yes. Okay. So I've got Wolf out. I think he's going to have to come and do some damage. So he's going to move now. How to move to you? That's one, that's two, that's one, that's two. It's always going to be two movement, isn't it? Can I move? Ah. Oh. I cannot move. And I've only got two of the Gronk. But I could, I could bring somebody in, couldn't I? So I should do that first. Let's work this out. 17. Okay, I'm going to bring in Durham Red. She's the vampire. So she comes to the bottom of the board. So she's in play. 
Durham Red, when you deal damage with a melee attack, you heal one damage, because of course, basically, she's being a vampire. She's taking uh, health every time she attacks you. That's pretty good. Uh, 36 and 34, where are they? 36 is here. And that's Johnny Alpha. Do I have... Can Johnny do anything? Ah, see... Oh, hang on. No, that's 36. No, here we go. Oh, right. So... I've already, I brought the first character in, which was phase one. Phase two, I'm going to start off by bringing another character in. And I'm going to bring in McNulty into 36. And now I'm going to start using some cards. So, McNulty... I think it probably makes sense. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to... Play a card to move. That takes me one. And I'm going to play all three cards <laughs> to pick up that fragment. But now I have no cards in my hand. Now, let me help you here. That's Judge Anderson. Do you have a Judge Anderson? Okay. Okay. So this is completely up to you. Oh, this is right. Here we go. It's the end of my turn. You could, before I end my turn, you could interrupt right now. You could play your interrupt card. And then because you're Judge Anderson, you could punch me. And you could punch me again. Right? Yeah, let's and, do that. Double and you, punch. And you know... I've got no cards <laughs> to defend myself with. Right? Do so, that. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought that might be relatively pleasing. Yes. So, do you see oh, how, yes. the, how, how, the, how the game works? By knowing, seeing that I've got no cards and by you having the appropriate cards in your hand, you're able to do great actions. So, yeah, I've kind of fallen into this a little bit. But, hey-ho, we'll see. So, you do the interrupt... And then you do a punch, and then you do a second punch. And because I can't well, defend, I lose two health. Do I need to, do I need to, like... Oh, yeah, it's with health. Yeah. I had not heard that. Okay. okay. Right. Do I need I to punch you one more time and you're dead? Exactly, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Is there okay. another card to punch you one more time? There's not, unfortunately. Right? Are you sure? I, mean, I am sure. No, I would, I would share. And the only two characters that you... Well... The characters that could activate with the cards that you have left, you do not have on the board. So you can't yes. really do anything. So, But you've, you've done a lot okay. in that. Now, because in, an interrupt effectively starts a, a, a turn for you, you've come now to the end of your turn. And let me just make sure I am right in this. Uh, so when you interrupt, you take an interrupting turn. During the interrupt turn, you may deploy characters and take actions as normal. You may deploy and take actions as many times as you wish. The active player keeps the active player marker. When you no longer want to deploy or take actions, declare the end of turn. If nobody else inter announces an interrupt action, play returns to the player with the active player marker. Ah, do not draw any cards from your action deck. Okay, so that's the only th th sort of difference to this. So, you are going to start now. So, I'm I, I don't, it comes back to me. I am still at the end of my turn, so I now draw up my three cards. One, two, three. And now it is your turn. Right, so you have two cards available to you. Uh, these are for Judge Giant, who appears on space 13. Judge Dread, who appears on space 14, and Mean Machine, who appears on space 20. And let's just check here. Okay. There's 14, there's 13, and 20's down here. Oh, um, oh, goodness me. Let's take 20. 
Uh, doo, 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 doo. I'm just, I'm just trying. Like you want to do, you want to do twenty? All right. I was just trying to see, just in case I saw something that you can't quite see to help you, but that's fine. Uh, okay. So I'm playing kind of blind, so. Uh. So Mean Machine is in action. Uh, mean Machine can do one, basically, one general action. Right. Now, remember, remember you, you could bring Judge Dredd in. Judge Dredd appears on space 14, and Judge Dredd can do two actions. I'm yeah, just trying. Judge Dredd can't do you. Judge Dredd would appear in 14. He could move, oh, to, move 18 to 18 and, and, and then, then sh take one shot because effectively, you've got to assume that this is the entirety of this. So, all this space, all right, he could actually go from this point to that point. He could, but I am in cover. Okay. Am I, you are in cover. I am in cover. But if you don't have a cover card, it then doesn't I, matter. Exactly, I'm stuck. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, let's let's gamble and do that. Okay, so, so 14, moving to 18, Dred's, shooting you. Dred's coming on in. He's going to move to 18, so that's using one card. Comes to this corner. He's targeting uh, McNulty. He's going to use the shot. Now, let's just double-check this. High, high explosives. Whenever a character with high X takes the shoot action, after selecting a defender, they may choose to make all other characters of the same space defenders too. Includes friendly. All defenders decide individually. Right, so it's still one damage, so it, I don't think it, there's any advantage. It's only if I had my characters grouped together would it be an advantage. Okay, so you're going to take that shot. Hopefully, I have a cover card. Let me see. Uh, got to look at what his symbol is for him. Oh, there's no cover on that. There's no wild cards on my card. But, uh, oh, I do actually have a cover card. Only just. So oh. I've been able to duck out of the way of that shot. So that is your two cards used up. It's... Pretty much near the end of your turn, but before you you declare it over, you could bring in that final judge into space 13. Mm. Then you will have uh, all of your all of your characters on the board. No, it's okay. It's fine. Okay, so you draw up three cards. One, two, three. Let's see what they are. Uh, Judge Giant with a deflect. Judge Hershey with a rally. Giant with a deflect. Hershey with a melee. And Dread with a rally. And then Giant with a melee. And Judge Anderson with a Psy attack. Let's find out what the Psy attack is. Oh, sorry, it's not Psy, it's Precog. Uh, when this character is, is the target of a snipe or shotgun, make this defense out of turn to avoid all damage. So in other words, it's like the cover, it's like the deflect, except it doesn't rely on the cover, and it means that you just dodge any damage that comes your way. So that's pretty good. All right. So you have your cards. It is now the start of my turn. <sighs> Going to have to get rid of uh, Judge Anderson, aren't I? But of course, I wouldn't know that you have that pre-call card. <laughs> so that's a little bit unfair. Um, and he's too far. Far away. Oh, but I feel like we need to do it. Uh, let's 
saying that, you have Mean Machine. Go, uh, well, here we go. I'm going to use... Oh, hang on. I need to start my turn. So 34. Let's bring Johnny Alpha in. So all of my characters are in the game now. McNulty at 35 is going to shoot at Mean Machine down here. Okay. So we need to take a look. Do you have a defense for Mean Machine? In fact, let me just double check. I think, yeah, wild cards can be used on anybody, can't they? Oh, no, it needs, it does actually need the, ca the character to be highlighted. So. Taking a shot at me, machine. Unfortunately, none of your cards. Let's just uh, change the camera. So none of your cards have me, machine highlighted. So unfortunately, he cannot defend. All right. So I'll do that shot, and me, machine takes a point of damage. But that's my card spent. There's, oh, there's not much else I can do. Uh, do I want to move somebody? I'm going to use this card. I'm going to move Strontium Dog. Sorry, Jolt Johnny Alpha to there. And that uses that card up. And then draw three cards. One, two, three. Done. Back over to you. You have three cards. So you got, oh, here we go. You got three, ca three abilities with Judge Giant, who is currently not on the board. Judge Giant appears in section 13 that I've probably just covered up. Have I covered it up? Yep, there you go. Uh, Judge Giant is able to have his two deflect and is a punch. Judge Hershey over here is able to move you know and what? do a punch. I know what I'm going to do. Oh, no, wait. 13. Yeah, 13. Yep. Go to 18, go to 37, and punch you in 35. Right, so hang on. Going to... So I appeared in 13. Going to 18 for one. Going to 36 for one. You oh, can't, then, you, oh, yeah, no. You, you can't do okay. it. Okay. Yeah, no. Sorry. But, but hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm, I'm behind you here in 17. One of my characters you is. You are? Yes, you can do it. You can, do, you can go and punch a vampire. Oh, I, didn't, I, I didn't see that one. Yeah, sorry. She's, she's kind of hidden, isn't she? Yeah, here we go. You, right, can, you can do 17. I'll go there and punch that one. So one, two, and then do a punch. Yes. Okay. So take those out. There's your punch. Do I have something that allows me to defend? Oh, Augie, sorry, I do. Okay. Uh, so there you go. I, I have the vampire teeth, and she has the Ugh. block. At least I tried. Yeah, no, you've, got, you've got to. You've got to. That's the whole point. Anytime you see an opportunity, you've got to give it a go. Uh, okay. So that means now that you've got no cards left, you'll draw up a new three cards. One, two, three. Let's see what you've got. Uh, it is Chief Judge, Rally, Mean Machine, a smash with a cover card. Judge Giant with a punch. Hershey with a rally, Dread with a snipe. Giant with a punch, Dread with a rally, Mean Machine with a smash. Oh, wow. So Mean Machine... Mean Machine's got two smashes. But he's still just... He's a little bit too far. Remember, a smash does two points of damage, potentially. Alright, so those are your cards. Uh, let's go to me. What can I do? I want somebody to pick up, but I've only got two cards, so I clearly can't. 
I can't do enough. McNulty can't shoot anybody. Johnny Alpha could shoot somebody. Johnny Alpha could potentially shoot Mean Machine. Let's do that. Johnny Alpha against Mean Machine. Do you have a defense for Mean Machine? Uh, you do, actually. You have... Oh, no, that's cover. That's cover. You don't actually have... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. No. No, you don't, unfortunately. You don't have a card to defend. So Mean Machine's going to take a hit. Takes one point away. Uh, but that means that card is used. There's nothing else I can do. I'll draw up three cards. One, two, three. Back over to you. We're getting a bit of a speed now. Uh, all right. Um, see, the only issue for me is that I don't know who is who. Okay, so you have the Chief Judge here, to which you have two abil two special abilities. And let's just go over that rally again. Let's just make sure. So choose a character in your team on the same or an adjacent space. So, unfortunately, she's got nobody adjacent to her. That's no good, is it? But Judge Dredd has a rally, and he is down here on 18. The character taking the action and the ally may take a move or climb action. So basically, if you use Judge Dredd to do a rally, somebody who's adjacent can get a movement action with them. Do I have a, an attack for Judge Dredd as well? Uh, Dredd has an attack as well, yes. Okay, can we move him to 17? Move Dread to 17. Yep, Set. Dread can go into there for 17. That would use that card. And then are you suggesting he's going to shoot the vampire, yeah? Yeah. So that would be using that card. Uh, can the and vampire... And you're saying someone else can move too? Uh, it... No. Yeah, actually, well... If you did, yes, on this card, you could have moved and then you could have moved somebody else. So he was in here. He could have got number 20 to move or he could, could have got number 17 to move, Judge Giant. Yeah, let's swap them from places, though. Judge Giant goes out and he goes in. Okay, so he wants to go back. Where's Giant going? Into 18? Uh, they swap. Swap, okay. Giant goes there. Dread goes there. Can I suggest something? Just looking at your cards again. Because, because you've got Judge Giant in that section. Judge Giant has two, two cards that both do a punch. So Judge Giant could effectively punch the vampire twice. So the vampire is might. Is that might... the one I moved? No, no, no. This or, is be this no, is before you do any doubt. before you do any movements. Yeah, Judge Giant could punch twice, which and I is would. Is that the one that's already standing there? Yes. Okay. I I would have to defend two two attacks. All right. Let's just punch twice. Punch twice. Yeah, I think that probably is a better idea. So punch twice. So I can tell you. I can block once, but I can't block a second. So you take the health from the vampire. Yay. <laughs> right. I don't like vampires. <laughs> okay. So you have one card left, which is Mean Machine. Mean Machine can move once, potentially. Or Judge... Hershey can move once. And then that uses up all of your cards. Um. Uh. 
come again? You, you can either move Judge Hershey or you can move Mean Machine. I think there's something to be said that either... Can you point to them? Yeah, so Judge Hershey is up at the top here. She can move. She's in number eight. Mean Machine is in number 20 down at the bottom. Uh, 20 to 19. 20 to 19. Good idea. Moving moving your characters so they're all kind of close gives you more options, doesn't it? You're sort of ganging up on potential objectives, either taking the uh, crystal or inflicting damage. All right, let's take a look. Let's see what you've got. I can actually fan these cards out now and you can, uh, you'll can you be able to work it out yourself pretty easy. So you've got two actions for Judge Giant at the top with a tag action of cover. There's three actions for Judge Anderson, the Psy Judge. One of them with a precog, meaning she can deflect any kind of damage anywhere. And one of them being a snipe action. Judge Hershey can do a standard action and then a snipe action. And Judge Dredd has two standard actions. He can have a deflect and he can have a punch. And then there is a wild card for either Judge Giant or Judge Anderson with a, a punch. So those are the cards that you have. All right, let's go to me. Thank you. That's all right. Uh, you're ganging up on on my vampire lady. I think she's going to have to. She's going to have to do some serious. What can Moving. she do? Yes. Well, she either moves because of why she's going to die. Yeah. But it sometimes it's not about keeping people alive. It's about winning the game, isn't it? So I it's getting points. You should it, pick up some points. Yeah, well, this is it. So what I'm going to do, just because of how the cards have, have come out, I have three cards, all with Johnny Alpha. Now, those three cards would allow him to take three shots. Yes. Oh, wait a second. Did I, did I just put your I put your cards back, didn't I? Sorry. Oh, goodness. It's all right, it's okay, I've, I've put them there. I should be leaving them there. What I'm going to do is, I could take a shot at Judge Anderson, but I'm not sure whether you could defend it, right? But what's even easier, I could use those free cards and just pick up that crystal, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pick that are crystal top, up. Are you on top of that crystal? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah. Very good, very good. So I've got three points, I only need two more. But really? I've, yeah. but I've, you, I've used up all of my cards. Yeah. Right. These are your cards. I'm gonna just leave your cards in the center of the board there. So I now okay. pick up pick up three new ones. One, two, three. Okay. See, right. If I'm not mistaken. Yes. Go go go. The guy in square thirty-five. 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 Where's thirty-five? Is the yes. PSI. Yes. Man. Well, it's a lady. Judge Anderson. So, I am not going to judge. Um, they're playing hands. <laughs> um, I would like to snipe the one next. No, no, punch. Punch. You, well, you, you can do both. You, you, you can, because... I she's, only uh, need one. You do Let's actually start with one. one. Action. Okay. okay, okay. I'll do the punch. If you deflect that one, I'll snipe you. Right, well, well you see, there you go. Right? It was all down to which one you did first. You've said that you want to use Judge Anderson doing the punch. So that is that yeah. card. Right? And that being the case, <laughs> right? I cannot, de I cannot defend it. Oh, you cannot? No. Okay. If you had chosen the other action, I could have. <laughs> so, well done. Why? Because awesome. we're in the same square. No, no, no. Because I've got a deflect. Remember, these, these ah. squares are slightly large, but I've got a deflect that would have uh, meant that the, the shot would have bounced off. But because you chose punch, I can't do anything about it. 
So, so uh, awesome. So you've killed McNulty, which means McNulty comes over here. That's a point for you. Yay! <laughs> all right, it's 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 free too. It, it, hey, is everything to play for here? All right, and things that are moving. But I along. killed you. You killed me. I, right. I I've shown more skill. Okay. Up until, this, up until this point. Come on, come on, keep keep on keep on the roll. So remember, you've got two more cards with Judge Anderson. Judge Anderson is I, right I next to wanna, Crystal. Yeah, I want to move him. Right. To twenty nine. So move to twenty nine. Is there yeah, now? And, and and use the the card with no specific action. Yes, you've got one card left with a shooting action. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot number four. Number four. Okay. Line of sight number four. There's no obstructions. Can number four defend? No. Number four can't defend. Uh, so bye bye. Take, take no. It's just it's just a point off. So take a point off there. Oh, well. But but uh, that's good. That's See, good. I'm so. showing off my skills. I've been doing very well at, at taking <laughs> One, two, away life points. Three. That's that's all it requires. So here we go. Let's uh, let's look at your cards. You can start planning. I, I, I still have all my life points. Uh, no, I took I took a point off Mean Machine. Okay. You know, but it that's okay. One. I took one. You, you, you're certainly doing much better. Uh, Yay! You've had the first kill. Let's put it that way. Right, here we go. Here we go. Yay. So what, what have we got? We got Judge Anderson, the Psy, who can do two standard actions and has two precog actions. Judge Hershey can do a standard action and a rally. Judge Dredd can do three standard actions. He can also do two melee actions and ha a cover action. And then Me Machine, right at the bottom, can do a standard action and can do a smash action, which does two damage if it hits. Could you point out Helmet Man on the board? Helmet... <laughs> Helmet Man is in number 18, just here. Mean Machine Man is in number 19, just here. And... Uh, Helmet Man is in 18. Ooh. Helmet Man is in 18. Judge, Interesting! Just Judge Hershey... Five empires. Judge, oh. Judge Hershey is in 8 up at the top here. And you know Judge Anderson, who's 29. Yeah. Actually, does anybody know who Judge Anderson's name is? What's her name? What's her first name? Um, so... PSI. Pressure. P PSI Anderson, yes. Uh, so for the, sp the wild cards, Anderson and Dread have an additional punch. So Dread effectively could do three punches if you play your cards in the right order. Uh, well, he has to move first. He does, have to, he does have to move, yes. And Dread and Mean Machine both have a deflect uh, wild Or I could card. just use all three of them to pick up the crystal. Uh, uh, there's no crystal there. Yeah, I am on top of one. Ah, yes, ah, yes. You, you, and but you, but you've only got two cards for Anderson. You haven't got the third. Ah, yeah, okay. Right. So you could. Your turn. You could, if you want, mi mi miss miss the turn, and you know. Yeah. Well, uh, that, your that's, turn. Yes, you know what you're doing. I won't. I, I'm I'll not do gonna, some attacking. I'm, I'm not. I'm going to stop I'll helping punch. you now because you know what you're doing. I'll punch some people. Right. This is very good for my in like my inner aggression. <laughs> is it beat beat it out, eh? Uh, uh ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? See I I could I want to get that crystal. There's a crystal over here. I think she's going to die any, any moment, isn't she? Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> You're mean. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to use that card to move Johnny to that crystal. And 
and I can use the snipe. Who do I want to shoot at? I'm going to shoot at Anderson because Anderson seems to be the threat. So it's up to it's up to you. You can use one of your cards uh, with the Anderson symbol on to deflect the damage, or you can take the damage. I'll take it. You're going to take the damage, yeah? Okay. Good, good, good. I need to punch some vampires. All right, so that uses that. Uh, what else can I do? I've got, I have got my vampire card. Do I want... I'm gonna. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Wolf. Right, I'm gonna use my both my cards here. Okay. Wolf is going to move once and then shoot at. Hershey. Uh, you can't defend that. So that is a health. Wolf is then going to move again and punch Hershey. And you can't defend that either. So that's done. But that is the end of my turn. I'm going to draw three cards. One, two, three. Okay. Come on then. Show me what you got. Middle card move. Punch, punch. <laughs> okay. So he's going to... In fact, well, remember, he's going to move with that middle card... And then can punch straight away, and then punch again, and then punch again. Okay, so you do actually get three punches. Okay, three uh, punches. So, but Thanks. let's let's see. Well, let's see how you do, because do I have? Do I, do I? Yeah, I'm going to do it. So your first punch, I'm going to block it with that card. Okay. I have two more. So you have two more, so you've used that one. And then you have two more punches, uh, which I cannot block. So you do two points and of damage, die. and you've killed Durham Red. Yay! Okay, but I've managed to get you to use all your cards up. Oh, well. Well, that's, that's, you know, a little bit of the game. Uh, I've used up one, so let's see how I fare in the next round. Uh, okay, so you're at three points. I'm at three points. Next three cards. Let's see what you got. I think I think we'll actually we'll finish this game dead on, on, on time, won't we? Uh, okay. I think you could look at that now, and you could pretty much know exactly what's happening, can't you? Mm -hmm. So Anderson Sai does a standard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, you, are you confident with all that it's now? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. No, that's that's good. That's great. That's the thing, isn't it? Once you do it enough times, you you realise how it all sort of fits into place. Okay. So that's you done. It's now my turn. Uh... There's nothing for me to do. I'm just going to end my turn. So I'm going to draw up now three cards. One, two, three. Okay. It's your turn. My turn. She's gonna pick up the crystal twenty nine. Thank you. Um. She, oh no, I can't. She can't do it. Sorry. Yeah. No, she can't. She can't. It's fine. Oh, 
where's where's the one who has punch punch go uh, that's this one judge hershey she's up against wolf wolf has free health Three health. Mm -hmm. Well, let's do at least punch punch. And then I'm gonna use number 29 to shoot. Yes. Yes. Uh... Oh no, he's shooting into the abyss. Can he? No, he can't. He yes, can't no. shoot in there. Yeah, you can. You can. It would just be a case of what type of defense card I might use. I could use a cover card or a deflect card. Uh, but what I'm going to do is... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take the damage. So you're going to use all three cards. And yes. you've, done, you've done three points of damage. Which means... Which you you've die. Ki you've killed Wolf. So I have four points. You've got four points, okay? But that now is effectively the end of your go. Yeah. So, so you get one, two, and I need to shuffle your deck. Let's sort this out. Because this is, like, so close now. Do -do 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 -do. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay. Random card. There you go. There's your three cards. What have you got? Let me put those there. And you can see. All right. Hmm. Doesn't look good. Uh. Sure. Good. Yeah, you okay? Yeah, you'll have to point out where they are, but I'll do. ask that in my turn. Yes, no problem. Okay. I am going to... Uh... Okay, I'm using three cards with Johnny Alpha to pick up the crystal. So I'm at four points. I'm going to use a card to move Johnny Alpha in with Judge Anderson. And I'm going to use the final card to punch Judge Anderson. So it is up to you. You do have a card for Anderson to block that punch, or you can take the hit. You have two health. Mm. I have no block card. Oh, I yeah, you do. You do have a block card. You have one. You can one block card for her. So it's up to you. Yeah, go ahead. Yep. Yeah. So you're sure. gonna you're gonna lose that card. But I've done everything there. I get two cards. Okay, it's the start of your turn. Okay. So you've got so you've got two two actions for Judge Giant. Giant is down in the bottom here. Uh, you've got an action for Hershey up here with a shoot. And you've got a punch for Mean Machine down here. Uh, eight's gonna shoot you in 29. So eight's gonna shoot 29. Yep. Okay, so we'll just have to find out and see what cards I have as to whether I can do anything. There you go, that's my card. So, eight is shooting. Let's see what I've got. Uh, 
I am going to use a defense precog. So I dodged the bullet. Mm. Okay, you've got one card left. I can shoot again, can't I? Uh, no. Beca because the judge that can shoot is blocked by this l this big statue. Okay, wait. Yeah, okay. Then um, right. that's the end of it. That's, that's the end, yeah. So, three cards. Let's just line these up. Hopefully these are a bit better for you. My finger is covering a, uh, a cover wild card at the bottom there. Okay, thank right. you. Yeah, I have to look at them in the turn that itself more. Okay. Right. Okay, here we go. I'm going to use that card, uh, Johnny, to do a shooting action. So you could use this card as a defense. Judge Anderson's got two health. Um. But, but remember, so, so here we go. <laughs> You've got three cards with Anderson. Anderson's Take the damage. Anderson. Oh no, I can't. I can. Well, I can. You can. You you can. You can take the damage. Okay, so here you go. Here we go. I need you, to take the damage, otherwise I can't pick up the crystal. Exactly. But you but you then only have one health left. Well, let's let's take a gamble, shall we? Okay, so you're going to take the damage. So he does a shot against you, and you take a damage. Oh, <laughs> he then punches you. And that, that's the game. Wait. Uh. Because none of your cards protects against the punch. You lose a health, which means she's dead. Mm -hmm. And there's five points. You, of course, did have some insight. Uh, yeah, true, but I actually wasn't looking at that, and that's why I kind of let you make the decision as to which you wanted, whether you wanted to take the damage or not. If you had taken the damage, uh, sorry, if you'd not taken the damage and used the card, then I, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. So it would have gone on to another another round. And it, but, mm, yeah. But, but it's, one of, it's one of those yeah. things, that, you know, yes. I needed to pick up the crystal anyway. Yes, yes, yeah. It, it was very close, All very right. close. Yeah. So, what what did you think? Did you did you kind of get into it as you got, went through? You certainly didn't need me to explain the cards anymore. You certainly knew what was uh, what was happening. Yeah. Um. I think it's. Um. Is this a review or? Yes, of course it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I feel like it's not my style of game. Sure. Um, personally, but I did enjoy playing the game. I think it was. Uh, well, it's well designed, and I like the the board. Um, and once you get into the motions of the game, I understood it, and I could play. Um, of course, in this setting, it's kind of hard because I can't really, I don't really know. I have a top-down view, and I have to remember where everyone is, and I can't really keep up with it. Uh, so. Yeah, I enjoyed the game, but I don't know if it's a style of game that I would play often. Yes, no, that's uh, totally valid. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, and you, as you say, uh, because of your sort of limitations, you did exceptionally well. Uh, or the fact that you have never played the game before and actually picked it up 
uh, speaks volumes for you as a player, but also for the actual design of the game, that yes, it is a relatively quick and easy game to sort of get into. And if it was sat in around the table, you'd be able to see things much, much easier. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the fact that, that cards would be hidden, so there'd be a lot more thrill behind, oh, mm -hmm. do you have the right card to defend this? Or am I going to get away with it? Do I push my luck uh, just that little bit more? So Yeah, it's... it's yeah, I mean, it's it's our limitations, of course, and then that that does have an impact on the game. But I thought it, it was was a, a pretty nice game, and and if I believe correctly, there's different factions. There, so there is. It's interesting that that everyone has different cards, and I think I did have some luck of the draw moments that I could do a series of punches, or or I had like. I had the possibility to kill the vampire because if you look correctly, I have killed three people. I'm you only, only killed one. Yep. Yeah. I'm pretty yeah. proud of that. There's there's four factions uh, within the game, so of course we've played with two here. There is also an expansion pack, which again fans of 2000 AD uh, will get very excited. These are the dark judges. Uh, Judge Death, Judge Fear, Judge Fire, and Judge... I think it's, it's Pestilence. Uh, so the four horsemen of the apocalypse. And this also includes rules for solo play. Uh, so you play against these four judges that are stalking the board and you're trying to pick up the pieces before they kill you. They have special abilities associated to them. Uh, but you did mention right at the start... The miniatures, and the miniatures are, they're lovely. Uh, I'll just quickly show you Judge Dread, because this is the one that uh, everybody wants to see. And actually, can you see, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see him, because it's, it's kind of dark. But what they've done is they've given all the miniatures a, uh, a black wash, so it brings out all the detail. So even if you wasn't to paint these, they look much, much better than typical, you know, uh, plain grey plastic miniatures, which is really nice. So, mm. so that's Judge, uh, Judge Dredd. Again, if you are a fan of 2000 AD comics, these characters are instantly recognisable and, of course, add so much to the game as well. You know, um, I keep on saying it's Judge Gillian Anderson, but, that, but that's an actress. <laughs> I can't think what her first name is. It's so annoying. Um, so yes, it's it's really really nice. If you are a 2000 AD fan, you will thoroughly enjoy all of the characters. But as a just a general player, uh, as we've demonstrated tonight, it's very very quick for you to get into this game, understand how it plays. There are some tactics. Um, you know, you will learn to save some of your cards when you want to do something devastating. You know, and be able you know, to pile a load of cards just straight away because you'll get to a point where you'll know that your opponents don't have certain cards to be able to defend. So you can pile in the damage knowing full well there's nothing they can do about it, which, of course, is very yep. satisfying. Mm -hmm. Right. Excellent. Well. Okay, thank you for the game. No, thank you for, for playing. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Yep. All right, we, we'll uh, catch you next time. Now. Yep. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye now. Okay, and so my thanks to Augie for playing tonight's game of Judge Dread Helter Skelter. That was an incredibly close game. It could have gone either way, uh, but thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. Lots and lots of fun. Hope you enjoyed watching it too. Uh, we'll have a, another games night soon, but until then, bye for now. <laughs>